Our manatees are dying in record numbers. In fact, we've already shattered the record for the most manatees lost in a single year. And scientists fear the future looks bleak for these beloved marine mammals if we don't urgently act to save them. Beaches near Tampa have been littered with dead fish killed by a massive algae bloom that marine scientists say has been worsened by pollution. Even though cleanup crews have gotten rid of hundreds of tons of dead marine life, seeing dead fish and crabs on the beach is still inevitable. Let me break this down for you guys. Red tide is a common name for a harmful algae bloom that occurs along our warm coastal regions. These blooms result in large concentrations of aquatic microorganisms that can be harmful to aquatic life in dense concentrations. Now, although red tide is a natural occurrence, such as a river flooding that carries natural nutrients into the waterways, what we're seeing in Tampa Bay is anything but natural. We as humans are supercharging these blooms by straight up negligence and there needs to be more regulation and accountability for these big companies that are responsible for turning our beautiful bay toxic. And you can do your own research here, but to name a few things that affected this 2021 red tide season was April's Piney Point dump, where an estimated 400 million gallons of phosphate mining discharge was released directly into the bay. This in combination with 1,300 gallons of raw sewage that was dumped into canals around St. Petersburg earlier in July. And we also can't forget about the 90,000 gallons of industrial wastewater spilled into the port of Tampa Bay just a few weeks ago. Now in combination with these dumps, we also have to look at the fertilizers being permitted to use around our waterways and local golf courses that ultimately end up directly into the bay. Now you may ask, why is all this being pushed under the rug and why is this all being blamed on a natural occurrence? Well, our local elected officials have been directly sponsored and funded by these big companies, such as the sugar farm industry that directly contributes to the fertilizer runoffs around Lake Okeechobee. So until we can get our upset voices to overshadow these millions of dollars of funding, we're gonna keep seeing officials turn a blind eye and our tax dollars pay for the cleanups. Whew, hard to keep up. All right, let's get back. All right, what's up YouTube? Um, thanks for coming on back. Today's video is a little different than what I usually do. I actually don't even have a fishing rod with me, um, but just dropped the skiff in at Fort DeSoto. We are seeing some of the worst fish kills in Tampa Bay. Ask any local captain, any local here, they've never seen red tide this bad. Um, and even so, like this is way earlier in the season than we would usually even see it. And it's not even fish, we're seeing manatees, we're seeing dolphins, we're seeing a lot of other sea life. We shouldn't be seeing dead wash up, uh, up ashore. I'm gonna head to the first spot to take a look and see if I can find any dead fish and we'll see what we find. I didn't have to go very far. And here we have it, guys. Didn't even have to walk up the beach to find the dead fish. This whole line is dead fish. I mean, right here, we have puffer fish, a couple puffers, mullet, pinfish, just all decomposing on the beach all the way down. Yep. Huge mullet. Wow. Oh, that's so cool. And there's maggots. The smell right now, guys, is just awful. Miles and miles of dead fish. Mow it. So I wanted to make this video to shed some awareness on what's going on in the bay um, because news sources and places you're, I'm sure, seeing or hearing about red tide um, red tide is really just like, oh, it's a natural occurrence. This happens every year. 
this doesn't happen every year. This is like a forest fire. Forest fires are natural, but if you throw a bunch of gasoline on it, it's not natural. And that's what we have here. Good sized jack with all those maggots now that are taken over. This is a beach that doesn't have road access for people to clean this up. What you're not seeing are the 24 hour cleanup crews on the beaches and the canals that are cleaning all this up to make it look like it's not happening. And like, I mean, you guys are just seeing a little quarter mile of the beach right now and it just, it just goes on. It just keeps going both directions. There's dead fish along the whole beach. Wow, nice size red. Nice red fish. I'll put things in perspective, I mean, there's my foot. I mean, at least a 24, 25 inch red fish. This is just complete devastation. And I was coming out today to, like I was hoping I wasn't gonna find anything, honestly. Like, if I weren't to find anything, that'd be awesome. Like, I'd actually feel a lot better about the situation. But now that I'm seeing this, this is so sad. Size trout here, at least a 20 inch. I mean, it's all shoveled up now, but. All right, so just pulling away from the first area of beach that I stopped at. Um, gonna head down and see what else we can find. But I already saw a ton of different species dead on the beach. So just pulled up to just another spot on the beach um, I wanted to check out. Pull up and we have a nice big breeder snook right here. Of course, it's not alive anymore. Big fish, I mean, look at the size. That's at least like a 35 inch snook. Big snook. Nice speckled trout. I just have to comment again how bad the smell is out here. I mean, we have this gorgeous beach, gorgeous white sand, and all you smell is rotting flesh. I just moved over to a little different part of the beach. Let's go check it out. Whole bunch of dead fish right here. Not even maggots on them anymore. Mullet, mullet, mullet. Vertebrae of something. Wow, all right, there's a lot of fish over here. Pinfish, mullet, catfish. Over here in the mangroves, some nice redfish over here. It goes all the way back. Fish dying. Another redfish over there. And then not too far away, we still have fish coming in. Water, white sands, dead fish. I think we got some sheep head, sheep head, and something else. I can't really identify it. We got a couple eels right here. It smells so bad. 
going. There's just fish everywhere, guys. It's just a dead zone. Okay guys, so the smell from all the said fish is getting to me, so I'm gonna call it for the day, but I just wanted to give you guys a little insight of what's actually going on in Tampa Bay. If you thought if this video was meaningful to you or you felt moved by this, um, just share it, like it, um, also subscribe to my channel. Um, a lot of my other videos are not this sad, <laughs> but I uh, just wanted to kind of show you guys what's going on in my backyard right now. Um, so hopefully this doesn't continue to get worse, but all I can do right now is just spread the word, let people know this is going on, and hope, hoping it gets better. So we're just pulling in back into the boat ramp to load up the boat. And we got another fish right here. He's a snapper. But... Sad day, guys, sad day.